and the boat's nice and calm. We're just like peeling through the water like butter. Like butter. Like butter. Your face is like butter. My face is like it's butter. It's smooth as butter. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but man, it's picked up really fast. And I mean, it's straight up dangerous out here. Previously on Project Atticus. After spending three years refitting our fixer-upper sailboat, we left the United States with only $2,000 and the goal of working while we cruised. We made it as far as Isla Mujeres, Mexico, before we ran out of money and had to find work. For the next year, we did freelance boat repair jobs until we saved up enough money to cast the lines and sail south to explore the Western Caribbean. Recently, we arrived in Cabo San Antonio, Cuba, where we checked into the country and have been waiting for a weather window to round the island's western tip and explore the southern coast. Well, we decided to uh, come to the dock and fuel up and do our laundry, get a weather report, and uh, while we were waiting for the port captain and the diesel guy to come, this crazy little squall came through and uh, man it was a challenge getting off the dock. I have kind of hurt my leg a little bit. I don't even know what I hit but I've got a baseball sized bump on my shin. Uh, so now we're heading back to the anchorage and it's it's kind of crazy out here. exhausting mm -hmm. like it seriously just feels like a drug to just be laying here mm -hmm. warm and in the blankets and like comfortable <laughs> i can't believe that atticus like where we are right now mm -hmm. was the thing that was like <laughs> pounding in those seas just another one of those situations where cruising is just like <laughs> it can just change mm -hmm. like the situation can be totally chill and then boom like one of the wildest experiences of your life mm -hmm. is like occurring now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> never a dull moment. Mm, I'm <laughs> sleepy. Ugh, it's just a total wreck out here. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I, I can't tell if these clothes are wet from salt water or fresh water. I know, we just did all this laundry mm -hmm. and like I mean, they probably got inundated by salt. <laughs> yeah, that was really frustrating. <laughs> we should be thankful that we have this anchorage here to run to, you know? Yeah. That the approach was so simple. That's true, yeah. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Ugh. Good morning. We are getting ready to head around Cabo San Antonio. The wind is great. Um, it should take us 20 to 24 hours to get to Cayo de San Felipe. The only thing is, is that we didn't have a chance to take on diesel yesterday because we had to get off the dock when the winds picked up. 
but luckily our friend Alex on Tangaroa says he's got two spare five gallon jerry cans of diesel that we can have because he's got plenty of diesel. All right, Alex, you ready to rock? I'm ready to rock. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. <laughs> hey, Pendleton. Hey, Emily. Hey, Zach. Chris. Olivia. <laughs> I can keep going. All right, no, that's enough for okay, now. Okay. Hey, Emily. <laughs> I didn't miss you, I promise. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> shades the whole boat so it's like having this huge you know hard dodger or, or sun awning so yeah it feels really good and the boat's nice and calm we're just like peeling through the water like butter like butter like butter man your face is like butter i don't think that's a compliment is it i think it is my face is like it's butter. It's smooth as butter. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> your face uh -huh. is as beautiful as butter. Yeah. Your <laughs> face looks like you eat a lot of butter. Yeah. <laughs> do you want some cookies? Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> This is Cabo San Antonio right here. This is where like our friends went through yesterday and were just banging into the seas because the wind was coming out of the south. But there's this very particular situation here where a couple miles to the west, the Yucatan current flows north, but there's an eddy right here at the point. And so there's a counter current, so here, the current flows south and, and southeast around the point. And so right now we're probably benefiting a little bit from that. Um, and with the north wind, it's nice and calm. But boy, 24 hours ago, it sounds like our friends were just getting banged up coming through here. Yee-hoo-hoo, -hoo, man. We are booking it right now. Beam reaching. Oh, this is just perfect and the winds coming out of the north but we're on the south side of the island so it's like there's there's no swell action hardly at all like this is i was telling desiree this is super civilized sailing you know <laughs> well it looks like see we're, we're back up to doing seven knots now but every now and then we'll get a lull and we'll dip down to like five and a half knots. So I'm basically out of excuses. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rig up that mizzen stay sail. Uh, it takes a while to rig up, takes a while to break down, but you know what? This wind is just so perfect. There's no reason not to have all our sail up. five and a half knots in what feels like eight knots of wind maybe i mean it's like it's almost nothing so that's pretty awesome so i'm just gonna keep ringing every last drop of speed out of atticus <laughs> all right bud how was your watch it was good Oh man, it was crazy. Like most of the day, I was just working nonstop because the wind was so light and it just kept changing strength and direction 
that I literally had like the main sheet, the spinnaker sheet, and the uh, Miz and Stay Sail sheet like all in my hands at the same time, just like <laughs> adjusting everything like a puppet master. And now the wind picked up, which is great. Like we're cruising at six and a half knots. I took the took everything down, took the spinnaker down, the mizzen, the mizzen stay sail, and now we just got the full main and Genoa up. And I'm tired, ready for a break, but I'm so happy. Doing great. You better go down and take a nap. Okay. I actually got a the the fan above our sea berth is uh, has died, so I gotta swap it out with the fan from the bathroom because I'm hot. Yeah. I need a functioning fan. Nice, bud. That was quick. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, now I'm starting to get a little seasick. Yeah, I got I got to lay down. Lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan was running around today, keeping us going fast, uh, and now he's tuckered out. He's finally taking a nap down below, um, and I just came on watch for my favorite watch time, which is uh, sunset. It is gorgeous. We are averaging seven knots right now and it doesn't feel like the boat is overpowered. It's nice and breezy. Uh, it's just like the perfect, <laughs> perfect sail right now. All right, well, it is, what time is it, like 9.30? Uh, yeah, 9.30. And um, we're thinking about um, switching out the Genoa for the jib. Um, we're slightly, maybe a teeny, teeny weeny little bit overpowered, and also the wind might pick up, and also we are way ahead of schedule. This is an opportunity for us to slow down and make a more comfortable ride for the bud because she's a little seasick. Yeah. Our GoPro ran out of storage space, so we had to transfer the files onto the computer, and man, just looking at that computer screen, ugh. I'd look at it for like a minute and I'd be sick for 45 minutes, so. <laughs> but because of that, I haven't made any food either, so I think I'm a little seasick and also hungry at the same time, which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a fun-filled extravaganza because nighttime changing these sails, <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> All right, you ready, buddy? Yep. Crazy hair time. It's 10:30, and uh, I actually just tucked a reef into the main, booking it still five and a half knots, uh, close reaching, and sailing straight for Cayo de San Felipe. And it's just crazy to me, like this wind has been so like good for us, and especially because close reaching sometimes can be uncomfortable, but this isn't that bad because. We're in the lee of Cuba right now. We're probably going to arrive at four in the morning, it looks like. So we'll just heave to until daylight and then uh, and then cruise on in there. I was a little nervous about this passage. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's a long stretch sailing to the east, you know, and in the trade winds, in the springtime. And uh, we're just killing it. So anyway, we should be, uh, should be there in not too long. All right, well, <clears throat> we've been hove to for about an hour. You can see it's starting to get pretty light out, so I'm gonna get back underway. And uh, we should be at the reef entrance in about an hour. It's 
So we are approaching our reef pass to get up around to the north side of the Cayo de San Felipe. And then we'll head to our anchorage. We're almost there. And then I'll make you some brownies. And then I can sleep for like three days. And then you can sleep for three days. Okay. Do you have to snorkel or anything? Okay. <laughs> Nothing fun. Only sleep. Only sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are just now making our final turn toward our anchorage. There is a, seems like a, a pretty tricky pass uh, that we gotta take to get into this little lagoon area. These islands don't have like super good anchorages and this one looks pretty good on the chart. Uh, right now we've got winds out of the east-northeast there's no landmass or mangroves to the east-northeast of this anchorage, but there's shoals. And so it really depends on how shallow those shoals are. That depends on how protected this anchorage is gonna be. So there's still one variable left here. Uh, and I'm really crossing my fingers because if it's not a good anchorage, there is one other spot that I'm thinking about, but anyway, I'd rather be anchored and eat some food and go to sleep sooner rather than later. All right, well, we're approaching our anchorage. It's right behind me. As you can see, it's still pretty choppy out here and we're getting pretty close. So, man, I hope that it's got decent protection. All right, so I'm looking for a stake that's gonna be marking like a shoal and we're gonna kind of keep that stake on our right hand side but just hug right by it. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open. Okay, stand by to go hard reverse, okay? Okay. Little to starboard. Okay, so right there, there's a stake in the water. And that's what we need to keep on our right, because I can see the shoal on the right and the shoal on the left here. Okay, more to starboard. Hold that. Okay, so we're pretty well committed at this point. Looks like it's pretty shallow on our port pretty shallow to starboard so now we just got to get into that deeper area on the other side of this shoal and turn around in there here's our stick a little to starboard hold that tough thing is there's enough wind right now that we're making a little bit of leeway so I can't just focus on where we're pointing I really got to figure out which direction we're moving a little more to port What's the depth? Two five. All right, and it looks like it gets deeper. And there's two more stakes over here and those are on the chart as well. So we just keep them to starboard. Starboard, hold. Holding, depth is five. Five? Yeah. Woo, I think that might be the worst of it. That was sketchy because it wasn't like clear as day, you know? Yeah. It was not easy to decipher where this thing was and it's slightly off from the Navionics chart. If we had followed the chart, we would have run aground. All right, we're in the lagoon. There's that larger island. Here's the small one to the north. So we're gonna drop the anchor somewhere right here in the middle. Okay, standing by. Uh, looks like we're... We're stuck. I mean, we're here. <laughs> Anchor's not dragging. Our chain is like going behind us. So it's going like kind of down and aft. So we're like pointing downwind and getting pushed downwind. It's very weird. Uh, um, it's a pretty spot. You know, we got a beach over there. Tiny little beach right here that we could swim to. So Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so beat. And I feel bad for Desiree because I know she's really beat. And, you know, we've just been pushing it and moving too much and not, not doing enough fun stuff and not relaxing enough. So I think the goal for the next couple days is gonna be to relax a little bit.
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking here. And if you're already a huge fan of Project Atticus, consider becoming a patron right there. See you next week.